Hello, Raw Mithril here once again, getting back to the blind run of Mega Man Super Fighting Robot. So, it's time for the third fortress stage. Let's go for it! This one looks to have some distance to it. Alright. Okay, I can hit you no problem. So where does this go? Um, okay. Alright, so it's an elevator ride. Well, I can easily stall things anyway. Oh, that doesn't look good. At least they go away after a while. But yeah, the sound those make, it does not fill me with confidence. That's the sound of some rather nasty instant death things from Quickman's stage. So something tells me I really don't want to touch those. Although I do wonder, if they are instant death, I wonder if having the boots actually changes that. Like if they work on the same modifier or something. Not sure how I didn't get hit there? Whoa! I can still get hit by you, though. Alright. Oh, uh, that's not an exit! Okay, but that's not instant death. It's just a constant health drain. Okay. Alright. Fair enough. Good to know. I mean, that looked like it could have been a passage going somewhere. I had to check. And hey, it means science was done. I didn't even see the totem pole over there. Didn't quite get to that bolt in time. Sadness. Oh, okay, that's not something I can go through. Fair enough, then. Some of the terrain in this stage that isn't ladders really looks like ladders. Yow. Didn't quite get out in time. I'm probably really going to regret going for this. But I kind of want it. Oh yeah, I regretted that. That was a bad decision. <laughs> well, at least I got that bolt this time. Okay. So we have a water portion here. Let's 
Let's see here. Why did I do that? I mean, seriously, why did I jump there? <laughs> that was an exceedingly bad decision on my part. But we survived. That was a bad decision. This stage seems to cause a lot of bad decisions. Perfect. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, that was sad. I still need money. I know I've seen a lot of people telling me I really need to save up for the last of the... Uh, uh, the extra parts, the buster upgrade. The thing is, I'm not really sure I'm all that interested in it, since mostly it helps you with charge shot stuff, and I don't really tend to like using charge shots. I just prefer firing rapidly. That's more my thing. Just different play styles, really. If I can afford it, I'll go ahead and get it. I guess sooner or later I'll be able to afford it. Spent too long contemplating that life energy pickup. Pretty busy stage, not as busy as the last one, though. But still, there's a lot going on to consider here. strange how sometimes enemies will appear facing the wrong direction when you go into a room, and then they immediately flip around. Whoa. Alright. Well, you need to get out of the way. Like, overall, I kind of feel like I have more time in this stage to parse what's going on, as opposed to the sniper stage. Okay. Alright, you're a bit busier of a fight overall. You seem to be pretty pattern-based in what you do and when. I just haven't quite gotten used to it yet. Okay, that's ice. Don't know why I was interpreting that as electricity. Okay, so that's all you do, so let's see. I mean, you're in the water, so... I would assume Zap Barrier? I would be wrong.
don't really seem to care about that. Don't care about that one at all, okay. Well, we're narrowing things down. Oh yeah, and I was told I didn't actually look at the description for Leaf Boomerang. Throw a razor-sharp leaf that flies a short distance and then returns to you. The leaf recycles half the energy used if you catch it, and can also retrieve items. Interesting. Okay. Good to know. Okay, yeah, you don't really care about that. I wouldn't think it would be this. But just proof of concept that it's instantly extinguished. That's not doing much. I wouldn't think this would. Nope. Process of elimination... Flash Dagger? Yeah, you do not like that. Yeah, it's mainly those rebounding shots that give me a lot of trouble, and yet they're very pattern-based. So it's one of those that, enough practice, this boss probably won't be as bad as it seems just going through the first time. But still a fairly tricky one just from all the shots you have to dodge. Although still a fun boss. It wasn't bad at all. Overall, I liked that stage. That was pretty good. So, a little preview of Stage 4. Seems like a pretty short one. Hmm. Guessing we're going to be dealing with some sort of a gravity gimmick. But anyway, we'll pick this up next time. Until then, thank you very much for watching, I hope you're enjoying the series so far, and I shall see you again next time. Until then, fare thee well.